The National Blood Service of Ghana is expecting a 50% increase in blood donation nationwide this year. In its 2017 annual performance review meeting in Accra, the chief executive officer of the service, Dr. Justina Cordia Ansa, encouraged Ghanaians to cultivate the habit of donating blood. Let's have a very quick conversation. I have a representative from the uh, blood from the blood the blood bus? National Blood Service. National Blood Service. Yes. Uh, so thank you very much for your time. What is it that gives you the hope you're going to receive a lot more blood this year? Well, thank you very much. Um, as a National Blood Service, we are an agency. We are an agency under the Ministry of Health, and our mandate is to ensure um, an effective and coordinated national approach to the provision of safe, adequate, and efficacious blood and blood products, making it timely accessible and affordable to all patients requiring blood transfusion um, therapy, uh, especially in the public and in the private hospitals. And so over the years, we've um, set a target trying to achieve 100% voluntary blood donation, but uh, we've not been able to achieve that. Mm. And so this year is, is in our plan that we should try as much as possible and then make sure that we achieve that uh, uh, percentage of voluntary blood donation. The situation in Ghana is that um, the voluntary donation is not coming as we expect. Mm. Um, what what we are you say, sorry, now, when you say voluntary donation, you mean that people who just walk to your office and just say, I want to donate blood? Exactly. Is that it? Exactly. Okay. Because when you come to our facility, which is the National Blood Service, um, the place is open for voluntary blood donation. But um, before I came here, I checked. The whole day, we've no had one only has, one person. Only one. Only one voluntary donor coming in. I, I think that's good. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I mean, I'm no, wondering. It's, it's not encouraging. Yes, people. I, I think people usually want to know that there is a dire need of blood. I think usually that's what makes people want it. Yes, it donate. is, and we all know that. What we are trying to, you know, sensitize the public that blood donation is our civic responsibility, mm. and then the need for blood is very, very important. Because each day, and, uh, you know, we have accident victims, we have women, you know, um, going to deliver, they need blood to survive. We have children with anemic conditions, they need blood. Well, but what you're patients, saying, let's put it that. this way, let's look at it on the reverse. I'd like you to tell our viewers what will happen if they don't donate blood. Simple. Mm -hmm. We will lose a lot of lives in our hospitals. Okay. And, and then you can perhaps yes. give us the, 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 the reasons you think that we will lose a lot of lives if people don't donate blood. Then perhaps people will be pushed to come and donate. So a simple reason is that there are people, you know, in our hospitals whose conditions, you know, need blood transfusion to manage. Mm. And people like that, if they don't have blood to manage their situation, it means that they're going to die. We, we currently don't, we are now collecting statistics of people who died as a result of, mm. you know, unavailability of, of blood. blood last year. Mm. And when the figure, you know, is out, I mean, it's, it's, it's so bad that uh, we, don't, we don't want to scare people, you know, about that. But Sometimes then, people have to be scared for uh, the, for, so you can get them taking the action that, the, yeah, so, so we, we want to, you know, appeal to the general public. It is very, very important. Even for you as a blood donor, you have some benefits in there because mm. it is not our culture as, you know, people to walk to the hospital to have a, um, how do you call it? Uh, to, just to just have us, us you know, uh, check our uh, health level ah, and things right. like that. It is not our culture. And so when you avail yourself of blood donation opportunity, it's an opportunity for you to have a free medical check. That is one important you know, uh, benefit of blood donation. And also the joy that you have, that the blood you're donating is Has going saved to save. Life. Exactly. Mm. You may not know the person that, you know, uh, the, the person's life you're saving, but then you're doing it you know, out of your own volition. And then mm. it, somebody will survive because you have donated blood. One of the things that will prevent people from donating will be perhaps that they don't sort of receive um, maybe the kind of promises they get when they're donating blood because you just mentioned that some hospitals i mean there are benefits for people who come to donate blood but is this available across every hospital like every can you confidently say that every hospital in ghana gives the same benefits to blood donors yeah the benefit i mentioned is to you as the blood donor the voluntary donor 
you know, the fact that you go through the free medical health check okay. is a benefit to you. And okay. then the other benefit I think you want to um, drive yes, at is yes. perhaps the blood donor certificate that we give people. Mm -hmm. It is not a guarantee for you to have a, f a free access to blood anytime you need it. Why not? What I, I, I thought it used to be. Y yes, it, 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 it will give you access to blood when the blood is available. But when the blood is not available, we, we cannot manufacture blood and then give it to you. So when I've given my blood and I need blood and blood is not available, that's going to make me upset. Yes, yeah, so when you are a donor and you have that card, what it means is that we at the blood service or the facility that you've gone to, we need to do everything possible to make sure okay. that we get you the blood. And that is the advantage that you have over the person who is who not a voluntary have donor. The blood. Yes. Wow. So, that so is it's not a guarantee anyway. It is not a guarantee. That is why consistently we want to preach, mm. you know, that people should, should, should donate blood continually. It's four times in a year you can do it. At least if you do twice in a year, we are sure that there will be blood sitting at the blood bank for people who need it to survive. And we also want consistency. We realize that um, a lot of people want to organize blood donation at the same time, especially when it's a, a, an occasion. Let's say Valentine's Day, a lot of people want to organize mm -hmm. blood donation. That is good, but then uh, it doesn't really support the system okay. because the blood has a lifespan of mm -hmm. 35 days. So if we have it enough at the blood bank and then we are able to use it within that time frame, then it means that uh, it will go with. So we want to appeal to corporate organizations and other um, institutions that support us with blood donation that we should at least go by our timeline. You know, we have seasons that we usually run out of uh, blood. Okay, which are so, these seasons? Remind us again. Um, in December, January, January. It's, it's, it's a lean season for us. Mm. And then going to Easter, and then especially when the uh, students are on vacation, because we have the bulk of our donation coming from the student population. Mm. So when the students are on vacation, uh, it's a bit difficult time for us. Okay. So that is the time we want to rally corporate organizations to help us in organizing blood donation exercise. Ha, ha, what's the amount of blood you should have and how much do you have at the moment? Well, at the moment, um, we have about 190 units of blood mm. at the blood bank. Um, averagely, we're supposed to supply about 250 up to 300 units a day to hospitals and clinics around us that's in the southern area mm -hmm. uh, you know we have the southern area blood center the central area and then the northern area so southern area alone we we're supposed to we are required you know to provide about 300 units of blood every day every day every day but you are able to do 190 no 190 is it's the what stock you have. that we have currently. Oh, really? As I speak with you, yes. So you have 190 units, but you're supposed to provide 250 to 300 daily. Yes. To different hospitals. But the interesting thing is that um, today we've not had um, enough requests coming in. That mm. is how come we even have the 190 sitting there. Wow. Yes. So the day that we have enough requests from the hospitals, um, the likelihood that we are unable to supply them mm. is there. but. What we do is that I wouldn't say we ration blood, you know, per se, but then hmm. when you come with a request of, let's say, 10, we're able to give you five out of that so that other facilities will also, uh, you know, benefit that's when they quite, come. That's quite sad. That's quite dire. I mean, people could easily die. It is. That is the, that is the reality. Okay. How can people support? Do they have to just walk to... Um, your office or are you trying to reach out to people let's say via social media or you know going to offices or corporate organizations to ask them to encourage their staff to donate yes we have offices we call blood donor recruiters they go around to the <coughs> institutions and then corporate offices to talk to people to try to get them on board to organize blood donation exercise for us so apart from the mass blood donation exercise that we organize with corporate organizations. We also go to the schools, like mm. I said, the churches, yeah. and then uh, educate them. They also help us to So you're not exploring blood. social media? Uh, it's one of the things that we're going to do massively this year. Mm. Yes. Well, you we, should have started by now. Yeah, we should have, but I mean, gradually we'll be we, Because we'll that's, that's proven to be a space where you get to engage a lot of people. Exactly. And you get, and it's really simple 
to reach a lot of people using social media and we, we need the blood don't we yeah I'm sure the target that we've set for this year trying mm. to achieve the 50 percent uh, you know voluntary uh, social media is going to play a very key role okay, key will. let me give you the final word sir if you anything we haven't spoken about but that's very key in helping you reach this target so the key thing I want the public to know is that um, the situation, the blood situation in Ghana here, it's, it's not quite good. The consistency of voluntary donation, it's not there. But that is what we want people to know, that if you're a donor, make it a point that every four months you can, you know, walk to a blood donation facility and then give blood. Rally your family, friends, and then organize blood donation exercise mm -hmm. for us. People now, you know, I must say, are doing very well. People on their birthdays, they try to organize their family, their friends, you know, to organize yeah. blood donation. As I think it's a good thing. Good so thing. we want to encourage as many, you know, uh, people as possible to join in this uh, blood donation okay. exercise. Okay. And then Ghana will, will, will be the winner. Well, Ghana certainly will be the winner. Now, even if you're able to donate blood that saves one life. That's a great achievement. And I'm, and I'm going to promise you, I'm going to use my birthday as well, which is coming up um, next month, to perhaps organize a few friends of mine. Maybe we can come and do some voluntary blood donation and we'll get a card, right? Yes, you do. <laughs> That's wonderful. That'll Thank be very you very important. much in advance So for please, that. If, you are, uh, you, if you are touched by this message, make your way to the... Uh, where can they find you? How, how can you make it easy for people to track you, though? All right. We are located behind the Kolebu um, National Fire Service Office okay. um, or the Electricity Office at Kolebu. So Kolebu so, Te Teaching Hospital. Teaching Hospital. And also, when you go on our website, every day we have um, areas that we go for um, okay. blood mobilization. Blood. Okay. So if you are closer to where our team is on the day. Are there numbers that people could call? Yes, there are numbers on the... Uh, website. The website. What's I the website, give, please? Uh, www.nbsgghana.org. www.nbsgghana.org. Yeah, yes. So NBSG? Yes, that's National Blood Service Ghana. Dot org. org. Yes. Okay. Or so you can also call 0277 0277 one zero. Yes. So the number is zero two seven seven five zero one zero one zero. It's zero two seven seven five zero one zero one zero. If you want to donate blood and you want to make it easier for yourself, they can reach you, and then uh, you can donate your blood. Then you can also go to their website at www dot h n b sorry n b s g dot com n b s g dot com n b s g n b s ghana dot org. Hold on. Is it NBSG or NBS Ghana? Uh, NBS Ghana. Ghana. Okay. So it's NBS Ghana. NBS Ghana dot com. That's how you get to uh, find out information about where the blood mobilization team is uh, is uh, located, so you can get to donate your blood. If you're, it's, it's your birthday. Don't eat all the cake. Just you know, give out, give out to society, give out your blood. Thank you very much uh, uh, for coming. I've been speaking with Stephen Adaiba. Stephen Adaiba is the PRO for the National Blood Service. So I hope that you reach your target this year and that we don't have to run out of blood. We hope so. With you coming on board. <laughs> very well, very well. Thank I'll organize my friends yes. to donate some blood um, on my birthday.